faith is being fully persuaded of the truth. The prevailing circumstances notwithstanding, until the truth triumphs. Can I come again? Faith is being fully persuaded of the truth. The prevailing circumstances notwithstanding, until the truth triumphs. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. Truth will always triumph. <laughs> Truth, light will always triumph over darkness. You are fully persuaded of the truth. This is God's word. It can't fail. It's settled in heaven forever. God cannot deny himself. You are fully persuaded like Abraham was. Being fully persuaded that what God has spoken is also able to perform. And so God stepped in and he performed. At 100 years, Abraham had a son. The prevailing circumstances notwithstanding until truth triumphs. Second Corinthians 2 14. The word says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it known by us. The servo of his knowledge in every place. Truth can never crash if there's someone that will be fully persuaded of it. I have zero fear about tomorrow, zero. Trading the truth brought us to where we are. If we won't stop trading the truth, we can't be down. It's not possible. There's no day darkness will harass anybody walking in the light. <laughs> walking in the light keeps darkness away on its own. Darkness can, dark, there is no growth that can challenge the authority of light. Nonsense, what is light? What is light? You move now, you whistle, you whistle away. You won't exist again. Truth will always triumph. No matter the number of enemies against it, truth will always triumph. Truth will always triumph. So faith is being fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. I remember my wife said she had miscarriage. I was in from a mission field. And I said, it cannot happen. Can I have my food, please? There was no cross-check. Now, how do you now feel? You can't feel anything more than what I said. <laughs> being fully persuaded of the truth until the truth triumphs. I was so rich when I had no money. You know, you understand that? I, I was so rich. If you hear me, even if you are led by God, you would say, well, do I need to give anything to this man? No, 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 no. I've never needed anything from any man. I have access direct, direct access to source. I mean, continue. How? Truth. Truth. That you are fully persuaded of. Fully what? Fully persuaded of. Not that they are persuading you. Fully persuaded of. You are fully persuaded of. Someone is coming out of trouble. Yeah. Now, be fully persuaded that these horrible days on earth is your most honorable days in God's agenda. How many have what happened last night? That's the good news. These grieving days are your golden days. This Turbulent days are your triumphant days. These beggarly days are your days of plenty. Get fully persuaded of this. It will put you to rest. It will put you to rest. Somebody's story is changing. Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise.
What is faith? Faith is a display of confidence in God until when the desired result is obtained. A display of confidence in God. Confidence in God. Hebrews 10, 35. Cast not away your confidence. It has a great recompense of rewards. And verse 36. Verse 36 of it, please. For ye have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you may obtain the promise. A display of confidence in God until what is desired becomes a reality. A display of confidence in God. I can never be poor. You are so rich. You know something? I see a cloud outside, though. Don't think I'm mad. I see a cloud outside, you cannot see. There's no church, this place will be without people outside. It's already ordained. No matter the size, people will be outside. They will be outside. They have, it's ordained for them to be outside. There will be people outside because there's no room inside. Come on now. A display of what? Confidence. David, what are you looking forward to in your marriage? He's free marriage. How? Well, you know, we've been in coaching for some time. No, Chris, I know. No, David, take it easy. When you're sitting together, it's impossible to step on one another's toes. That was my counselor speaking. And I said, sir, we're sitting on the same chair, the same bench or whatever, coach. Why am I not stepping on your toes? One, I'm not blind. Two, I'm not wicked. He said, okay, okay, okay. A display of confidence. You are not guessing. I saw what the agenda of heaven is. I believe the name hook, line, and sinker. It has to deliver. That's faith. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? Everything that is out of order in anyone's life because of lack of the required faith to secure it is settled today. But you know something? Knowledge is not transferable. You have to acquire it. Amen. I mean, you and your wife are one flesh. Can you transfer your knowledge to her? Can you transfer her own to you? That your father is a professor doesn't mean you pass exam. Your DNA doesn't cover that. <laughs> Knowledge has to be personally acquired. Has to be what? Personally acquired. Knowledge has to be personally acquired. Has to be personally acquired. Has to be personally acquired. You shall know the truth. And the truth that you know shall set you free. It's your turn. I say it's your turn. Well, what a day. God is doing something here. May you catch it properly. May you catch it properly. May your confidence never be doused again. We round up. What is faith? It's a spiritual force within that determines the triumphs without. A force within that determines the happenings on the outside. That woman said, within herself, if I may, but told him was garment, I shall be made whole. Matthew 9, 21 to 23. A force within that reflects on the outside is a force within. With the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. If you say to this man, thing, be thou removed. And because to the sea, I shall not doubt in your heart, 
or shall believe what you say will come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say, drawing from what you believe in your heart. So it's a force within that determines the happenings outside. So keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. It talks about the evil heart of unbelief. Many people say some things in their mouth, it's not in their heart. They just say it. <laughs> it's not in their heart. It's a force within that determines the events on the outside. If you would like to give your life to Jesus, or you have given your life to Jesus before, but something happened and you took it back, can I give you an opportunity to return to Jesus? The truth is that if you are not in Christ, you are in crisis. Why not pray this simple prayer with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for sending me your word. I return to you today. I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender to you. From today, write my name in the book of life and cleanse my name from the book of death. Give me grace to serve you and to follow you all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.